camp is officially underway for the new look UTPB football team. The excitement is real for this program, and we're here to get you ready for the 2023 season. Well, there's a new buzz around the basin surrounding college football. It's a new age for UTPB that comes with a new coach and a brand new team. There was just a, a separation of offense and defense. Um, it was a solid culture, but the offense and defense didn't see eye to eye. They weren't one unit. It was two separate units on a team. And we have to be one team, one unit, no matter if it's offense, defense, special teams. Leading the way for two of those groups are two vets already getting recognition from around the conference. I've been with Kenny for four years, and obviously he's a phenomenal player on the field, um, not only at practice, but at games. He plays just as well in practice as he does in games. And Hayden's kind of the same way on the defensive side. He is our quarterback on defense. His his energy, his drive, I mean, it's his, his, his senior year. He's been here for four years. He wants to win so bad. These guys are both named Lone Star Conference players to watch, but it's results on the field that these guys are looking for in year one of the new look. A uh, little different style than last year, but you know we're gonna be we're gonna spread it around, have a little 50-50 run pass. So. Uh just an exciting brand of football. We'll play fast or we'll slow it down depending on what the game needs. I mean, we're going to be, we're going to play relentless. We're going to play fast. We're going to play hard. We're going to be a violent defense and that's that's our main goal. And this team also wants to represent West Texas with pride. Well, I love it here. I I came here when that building was a was a field, it was a hole in the ground and and to watch it, to be here and watch it grow and watch the team grow, is it means a lot. It's special. Plus, they're ready to put on a show for the home crowds. Yeah, I think if you look back at the first year UTPB had football and you look at the stands of Ratliff, like the first game having 13,500 people there in the stands, there's obviously people that love football in the base, basin, right? But this is a new era. This is a new generation of players on this team that are really, really phenomenal, really talented most talent this team has probably ever had in the eight year history of the program. So come out and, and see for yourself September 2nd and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And the season starts with three non-conference games and then later in the month, it's Lone Star Conference gauntlet time. The Falcons are hoping to exceed expectations. They're picked to finish seventh in the league. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back.